Hello and welcome to Point of View. The space community is eagerly waiting for the next lunar mission, Russia's Luna 25 mission. In this video you will see the Luna 25 being readied for launch. This will be the first Russian station in 50 years to fly to the moon. Preparations for the launch of the Luna 25 moon mission are underway at Vostokny Cosmodrome. The spacecraft is integrated with the frigate upper stage and closed with fairings. The video shows Luna 25 and the frigate upper stage being encapsulated in the fairing. Now this stack will be attached to the Soyuz launch vehicle. The Soyuz 2.1B launch vehicle is now fully assembled at Vostokny to launch the Luna 25 lunar lander. It will be transferred to the launch complex of Pad 1C on August 8. The launch is scheduled for August 11th at 2.10 a.m. Moscow time, 8.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and 0010 hours GMT. Enjoy the video of Luna 25 before it was encapsulated in the ferry. Luna 25 will launch on a Soyuz 2 frigate booster and will be the first lander to arrive on the south pole of the moon, Roscosmos has said. Nine minutes after launch from the Vostokny Cosmodrome, the Soyuz 2.1B launch vehicle will deliver the frigate upper stage with the Luna 25 lander to a suborbital trajectory. The first burn of the frigate upper stage will transfer it to a close circular orbit with a height of about 200 kilometers, where it will spend about half of an orbit around the Earth. The second burn of the frigate upper stage will send the lander on a flight trajectory to the moon. The duration of the launch of Luna 25 from the launch of the launch vehicle to the separation of the lander is 1 hour 20 minutes. After the separation of Luna 25, Fregat is diverted to a highly elliptical orbit which does not fall into the moon and avoids crossing with the orbit of the lander during its subsequent maneuvers. On the lander, all systems are turned on, checked and adjusted. To ensure continued power generation, Luna 25 will maintain a constant solar orientation, in which it turns to the sun with the maximum area of solar panels. On the last day of the flight to lunar orbit, the parameters of the Luna 25 orbit are specified and the deceleration maneuver is calculated and performed for lunar orbit insertion. Luna 25 is intended to be around the moon in a circular circumpolar orbit with a height of 100 km, which lasts three days. Two orbit maneuvers are done in the circumlunar orbit for the transition of Luna 25 to an elliptical landing orbit, the first provides the required apolune, the second one forms the required perilune height, which must be above the landing point. In the elliptical landing orbit of 18 km by 100 km, measurements of the parameters of Luna 25 are carried out to refine the resulting orbit. The calculation for the deorbit program for soft landing on the lunar surface are also performed. Luna 25 will perform two decelerations to deorbit, followed by free fall of the station to a height of approximately 8001200 meters with information from the Doppler velocity and range meter. This is followed by precision braking with the help of the propulsion system operating first in high thrust mode, then in low thrust mode. Finally, Luna 25 descends at a constant speed until it touches the surface. After landing on the moon and pointing the lander's directional antenna at the Earth, the scientific work of Luna 25 on the lunar surface begins, which is expected to last for one year. The main objective of the mission will be the development of soft landing technologies, research of the internal structure of the moon and exploration of resources, including water. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.